all right everybody what's up got another video here for you this is implicit differentiation and we are going to find the second derivative of this function right here of this implicit function all right so we've got to find the derivative so we got to find the first derivative first so this is going to be 4x cubed plus 4y cubed y prime remember whenever you're doing implicit differentiation okay we're doing the the derivative with respect to x so when we take the derivative of our y term we have to multiply we have to multiply by the y prime okay now this I'm assuming I'm doing the second derivative so I'm assuming you know how to do the first derivative okay so you take the derivative just like you normally do so derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed derivative of y to the fourth is 4y cubed the four comes down subtract one but since it's the y function we got to multiply by y prime and that equals well the derivative of 16 is zero Okay, derivative of constant term is zero. So now we've got to solve for y prime. So that's 4y cubed. Y prime equals negative 4x cubed. So y prime is negative x cubed over y cubed. The fours cancel out. See, if we, if we divide both sides by 4y cubed, see the fours cancel. We're left with negative x cubed over y cubed. All right, so now we have to take the second derivative. So that's going to be the derivative of this thing. All right, so the second derivative is going to be... So here we have to do what? We've got to use quotient rules. So that's negative. So what does the quotient rule say? Well, that's the derivative of the numerator, 3x squared, times the denominator, which is y cubed, minus the derivative of the denominator, which is 3y squared. And since we're taking the derivative of the y term, we've got to multiply by y prime and then times the numerator. And this is all over the denominator squared. All right. So let's look at this. So we've got y double prime is equal to negative, that's 3x squared y cubed minus 3x cubed y squared times y prime. Well, what is y prime? y prime is negative x cubed over y cubed. So in the place, in the place of this y prime, I'm going to put negative x cubed over y cubed, and that's over y to the sixth. All right. All right. Now, let's see what we've got here. We've got y double prime is equal to. Uh, let's see, negative 3x squared y cubed, and that's going to be plus the negative and the negative. Now, look at this. See, we've got the, this y squared is going to cancel. That's 1, and this is just going to leave us with a y to the first power. So that's going to be plus 3x uh, to the sixth over y divided by y to the sixth. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to get rid of this fraction. So remember complex fractions, we can look at each of these as being over one and I can multiply each term by y. And let's move this negative out in front more. All right, so that's going to get rid of this fraction up here. So that's going to give me y double prime is equal to negative, and that's going to be 3x squared y to the fourth plus 3x to the sixth over y to the seventh. All right, 
so so let's look let's look at this so let's let's factor some terms out so I've got y double prime is equal to negative let's factor out a 3x squared so that's gonna leave me with uh, x to the fourth plus y to the fourth over y to the seventh all right so all I did is I wrote the x term first okay see if I factored out a 3x squared that'd be 3x squared times y to the fourth plus x to the fourth and all I did is I just wrote the x to the fourth first if you do that that's fine if you don't that's fine too it's not a big deal and so now this is going to give me y double prime is equal to negative and then that's going to be 3x squared times 16 over y to the seventh so that's going to be y double prime is equal to negative 48x squared over y to the seventh all right now you might be thinking well where in the world did this come from and what happened to this okay so look at this x to the fourth plus y to the fourth well what does x to the fourth plus y to the fourth equal it equals 16 so all I did is I replaced this with 16 and that gives me my answer right here and that's that's it so wasn't too bad so uh, I hope this helped. I might do some more implicit differentiation with second derivatives, uh, some different problems, a little, some that are a little bit tougher. Uh, so be on, the, be on the lookout for that. All right, so thanks for watching. Give me a like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.